Prince Harry fell off his horse in front of his celebrity friends as he returned to the polo field in California after a flying visit to Britain for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee where he reportedly only had a quite formal 15 minutes with his grandmother. The Duke of Sussex, 37, was unscathed in the incident at the Santa Barbara Polo and Racquet Club, as was his ride, but it was a bad omen for the Royal whose Los Padres team also lost the match 12-11 yesterday. Harry didn't appear too downcast by the result because he was seen hanging out with friends on the sidelines including American Idol runner-up Catherine McPhee, 38, her composer husband David Foster, 72, and their young son Rennie. Mr. Foster, who is just a year younger than Prince Charles, has been described by some as a father figure to Harry. The prince is known to have a strained relationship with the Prince of Wales, and his brother William, since he and Meghan quit as royals and emigrated to the U.S. Yesterday a smiling but sweaty Harry was also seen with his arm around teammate Nacho Figuera's wife Delfina and fist-bumping others who came to support him, as friends said the Duke is living his dream in the U.S., playing professional levels of polo while living in a Montecito mansion with his wife and two children. The royal, who is sixth in line to the throne, is listed as H. Wales in the four-player lineup with his friend Nacho. The prince joined polo team Los Padres this year having played the sport for most of his life after learning in the UK with his older brother. He was spotted striking a pose this weekend as he enjoyed a spot of polo under the Californian sun, almost a week after arriving back from the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations in London. After working up a sweat, the red-faced royal was pictured taking a break as he placed his hands behind his head and sunk into his right hip. He donned a green top, white trousers and black riding boots and knee pads as he basked in the typical LA heat before being seen mounting his brown horse and putting on his helmet and protective goggles for another round of play. It comes after royal experts this week claimed that Harry must have gone home feeling very depressed for what he has given up, after he and his wife Meghan Markle decided not to be more visible in the Jubilee celebrations because they did not have center stage seats. The Duke and the Duchess of Sussex, 40, missed both the Platinum Jubilee party and pageant, as well as the Epsom Derby during the four-day festivities. Meghan was not present for the game on Friday, which Harry's team lost 12 to 8 to Dundee 2. The couple made only one public appearance over the Jubilee weekend, despite flying in from the U.S. with their two children, Archie and Lilibet. Another news: Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's backburner role at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations wouldn't have made Netflix too happy, according to a royal expert. According to Professor Sally Ottens, a royal author and marketing expert. Meghan and Harry were essentially a non-story. The celebrations came amid reports Meghan and Harry are filming an at-home series for Netflix, with whom they signed a lucrative deal after quitting as working royals. Professor Ottens, co-author of Royal Fever, told, Of course, it's hard to know whether the very backburner role the Sussexes played was by design. In truth, I think they were essentially a non-story at the Jubilee, which was likely the firm's goal, but unlikely the goal of Netflix. The royal family is likely treating most of their interactions with Harry and Meghan with caution if not suspicion. So long the Netflix contract requires lots of content about Brand Sussex, that's probably prudent on the royal family's part. The University of Illinois academic added that it will be interesting to see how the royal family's treatment of the Sussexes changes following the release of Harry's upcoming memoir, due to be out later this year. Harry and Meghan made their first public appearance alongside the Windsor since they stepped down as senior royals at the service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral. But their relegated seats behind working royals were a telling sign of their change in status. Royal aides were said to be wary of any Netflix involvement at the Jubilee. The Telegraph reported ahead of the occasion that the streaming giant's camera crews would be moved on if they set up to film the Sussexes from public areas.